Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am back again today featuring some Casual Friday stamps, and this is the Some Bunny stamp set along with the Bunny Fry dies. And I've got a little tip included in this video for using closed dies like this where you can't see where you're putting it on the paper or on the stamp. So I have a couple of tips there for you. And I'm also going to be using some colored cardstock today, which is not a very common practice for me, but as you can see, I group them in like colors. So all of these are blue, but I will be using this darkest navy blue color today. And I'm going to use it in a way where it adds to my scene. I'm going to be doing a night sky scene, so I thought that it was appropriate. I am also cutting this down one panel down to four by five and a quarter, and another panel down to four and a quarter by five and a half. And so I will have the card front, and then I will be able to adhere it to the four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock that I cut for the or for it to appear as the base. I'm first going to stamp the bunny where I would like him and it's going to be in this top left hand corner and I'm going to use my mini misty for this just because I want to be able to line it up so I prep my cardstock and I'm using Versamark ink to be able to emboss this and I will be embossing it with Ranger silver embossing powder. And I just do this on a loose piece of white paper so that I can easily pour it back into the pot when it's when I'm done with it. You can see it's nice and shiny and it stands out really well on this navy blue cardstock. As I said, I'm going to be creating a night scene. So I'm going to be using the two stamps, the two star stamps included in this set to create more of a night scene than is already with the bunny stamp. So it's got three stamps or three stars included in the bunny stamp, but I'm going to be adding some more. And again, I prep the cardstock and prepping it with this powder tool just means that you'll get less static so that the embossing powder doesn't want to stick all over the cardstock just to where you've stamped. And to make a more cohesive overall scene, I am stamping some of the stars off of the cardstock so it doesn't look stamped completely just in the center it looks like it's a piece of a much larger scene and as you could see there some of the embossing powder stuck to some spaces on the cardstock where there was a little bit more static and that happens even if you prep it sometimes but it's very simple just grab a paintbrush or a small bristled brush and wipe it away and it'll come off very easily and then I make sure to heat up my heat tool and get it nice and hot and then emboss all of the stars that I have just stamped there. So now that I have most of my scenes stamped and embossed, I'm going to show you how I use these closed dies and how I'm able to stamp them correctly to make sure that it's the stamp is perfectly in the center. So what I'm going to do is adhere the die cut that I've die cut just out of a white piece of cardstock with repositionable tape and I'm going to put that on a scrap piece of white cardstock but you could also use another color cardstock and it might be a little bit easier for you to see where to line it up and I'm going to use my misty but you could use any stamp positioning tool and I'll line it up just right in the center and you can see exactly where you need to line it up and it makes it a little easier because it is adhered even with just temporary repositionable adhesive right onto that square piece of cardstock so you can put it right in the corner there which is something you really can't do with just a regular die cut. It just makes it very simple and easy to line up. And I'm using Memento ink, tuxedo black ink to ink this up because I will be doing some Copic coloring and Memento ink is Copic safe, just meaning that the alcohol in the Copic markers won't make the Memento ink run. And the repositionable tape is very simple just to peel off. Here you can see it coming off just with a little bit of pulling from me from the back of the die cut and it comes off nice and clean and it won't stick unless you want it to. So here you can see that I've already, I'm sorry, I've already embossed the bunny so I know exactly where I'm going to put it. 
So for the moon Copic coloring, I'll be using Y11, Y13, and Y15. I'm just going to do some super speedy Copic coloring here, just make it very simple. For the bunny itself, I'm going to be using W1, W3, and W5. And these are just warm gray colors. And I like to go in with my darkest color first. Uh, and then blend it out a bit with my mid-tone and then color all over going through all three colors with my lightest tone, in this case, W1. For the pink details, I'll be using RV10 and these details are going to go in the ears and the cheeks and then right on the belly of the rabbit. To add a little bit of dimension, I'm going to be using some foam tape and I'm using these scissors that are not very good and that are pretty big because I have actually lost my cutter bee scissors. So I need to get another pair of those. I'm not sure where they are at all, but this will do for now. I am adhering that right over the embossed image of the bunny. And after I make sure that it is adhered fully, and won't move around, I'm ready to stamp my sentiment. So I'm going to be using two different stamps from this set. One is I love you and the next says to the moon and back. And I'm lining it up here on my round acrylic block. Again, prepping this piece of cardstock, which is in the same exact color as my card front and stamping it in Versamark ink. I'm also embossing it with white embossing powder and I'm using this paper trimmer just to make sure that I have nice straight lines and everything is centered and straight. I do end up using my scissors just a bit at the end to make sure that I have to trim off a little bit just to make sure that it's perfectly straight. So I realized once I'm putting my sentiment on there that I want the scene to come down a little bit more into the bottom right hand side of that card. So I just use some random stamps of the smaller star and emboss those again in silver embossing powder and I use a white gel pen to fill in where I think some extra stars might be. I use foam tape on both of those sentiment strips to give a little bit more dimension just as I have with the bunny stamp and die cut. And this is the completed card front to adhere it to that four and a quarter by five and a half size base that I've made. I'm using foam tape again to give some dimension. I center it there and then for the entire card front that I've made, I'm going to center that on a, or not center it, but adhere it to a four and a quarter by five and a half size card base, which is an A2 size card. And I'm doing that with Tombow Mono Multi Glue because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room to make sure that it is adhered to the base of the card perfectly. So here is the completed card. It is a little out of my comfort zone in that I've used some colored cardstock, but I think that it really adds to the night sky scene and I didn't have to do any ink blending or anything like that. It was just nice, simple, and easy. And I think the result is beautiful. As always, links to my blog, Instagram, Pinterest, and all of the supplies used are in the description. I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.